Hello guys, Tar Arts Movie here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be answering your question again. <laughs> so, today's question. Hello Tar Arts. Well, hello. Can you make a tutorial about chroma keying in After Effects? I already did that. Without using any third party plugin. So, okay, so here's the tutorial. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects, and uh, this is what we are going to be creating. So, let's just get started. First of all, go to your footage, by go to your folder and click your footage, click and drag it to After Effects. I already did that, so I'm just not going to do that. Also import also your background, click and drag it to After Effects. Or you can do it by, by click File, Import, Import File, All, Control i it will be the same or double click in here and import your footage so um, click your footage on the project here click and drag it to new composition boom there you go and as you can see right here um, we don't need this part of the clip because we only gonna need the green screen part so we're gonna cut it we're gonna cut it using the pen tool click the pen tool right here Woo! And then we're gonna cut it like so. Click, click, and if you want to make some curve line, all you're gonna do is click, hold it, and drag it like so. Click and drag it, click and drag it, click and drag it, and then click, click, and close it. As you can see here, we already cut the unnecessary part. And then import your background, click and drag it below your footage, of course. Boom. Oops, wrong background. <laughs> Click and drag it below your composition, like so. As you can see here, the background is a lot bigger. All you're gonna do is Control, Alt, and F. Control, Alt, and F. Fit to comp. Or you can just click your um, background here, go to layer, transform, and fit to comp. As you can see here, Control, Alt. And F it will be the same and then next we're gonna make the green screen disappear all right so go to your footage click your footage here make sure you click it not the background but the footage that you have the green screen on and then go to effect and then you're gonna go to oops sorry effect keying and go to key light now I'm using after effects CS6 here so the keylight is a new version, but if you are if you are in the uh, older older version of After Effects, I'm sure you will have keylight too. So all you gotta do is as you see here, screen color. Pick a color from your green screen or your chroma key, which is green or blue, whatever. Click the greenish color, and there you go. But it is not finished yet. <laughs> You have to go to here, final result, and change it from the triangle here. Change it from final result result <laughs> to screen mat. There you go. Now the black area here supposed to be all black. Mean means it's gonna be your background in alpha channel. So it's gonna be a disappear. Black means disappear, and white means um, it's gonna be your uh, foreground or yourself. So all we gotta do, we gotta make the the background all black and then the foreground all white. We can do it by go to here, screen mate, open it up, and we gotta we're gonna play with clip black and clip white. So to make the background black, all we gotta do, we're gonna punch the clip black here, punch it up a little bit until you see background becomes all black. Now, as we do that, as you can see here, the foreground can appear some gray garbage here we're gonna fix it by punch down the clip white until all of it becomes white boom there you go <laughs> and then you're gonna change your soft color to source just to make it a little a uh, bit better and then you're gonna change your screen mat again to final result and as you see here we are practically done all you're gonna do is have some color correction to match your background you can do it by go to fact color correction brightness and contrast we're gonna 
have some brightness and contrast here. I'm gonna punch my contrast here to around maybe 10. Is gonna be enough? I think so. And then, because I'm, I shot it in flat profile, by the way, so I'm just gonna... Well, it depends on uh, what you need. For me, maybe it's around 13. There you go. And then, basically just do some uh, color correction until your footage matches your background. But, if you are using a new version of After Effects, there is a new effect called Key Correct. Using this, you can easily match your foreground to your background. So, I'm just gonna do that. Um, in After Effects CS6, or I forgot if it's or available in After Effects CS5 or on the previous version of, of After Effects, but it's is there on After Effects CS6. So all you're gonna do is go to Effect, Key Correct, and Color Matcher. So as it says, it's gonna match the color of your foreground to your background. So make sure you add this effect to your foreground, of course. And then, as you, as you, as you can see here, Target Layer. Set the None here to your background, which is this one. You can see here, this is the name of the background. And there you go, as you can see here, it becomes red because it's took the color of the chair here to your foreground. All you gotta do now is just, uh, as you can see here, strength, just punch it down until you find the result that you want. For me, it's 13. <laughs> so as you can see here, the color, this is before, after. It's already um, some, somehow matched to the background. So. Next, click your footage and go to effect, and then key correct and edge blur. Basically, it's gonna blur your edges. See, so this is before, harsh edge as you can see here, and after. Just makes it looks more realistic. And next, the effect that you can add to your footage is effect, key correct. Um, light wrap. So light wrap is basically um, adding some light information from your background to your fo foreground. So background layer here, you gotta set the none to your background layer, which is this one. And there you go, as you can see here, on the edges of your footage, this before, after. It will add some light. You can um, brighten it up a little bit. As you can see here, ooh, uh, as you can see here, too much. <laughs> so we're gonna just make it down a little bit. And the width, you can see here, before, after, before, after. So it depends on your footage, actually, you can make it looks more realistic with this light wrap. As you can see here, I got uh, some light from behind, so light wrap will be good. There you go. Maybe a little bit too much. You can uh, blend with original to blend it just a little bit. All right, there you go. And then another effect maybe um, a spill killer. Spill killer here. If you still sometimes um, the green color will affect your footage color. Sometimes you will have some green um, from your green screen on your footage. You can just. Uh, add some spill killer and if you're using green screen you're gonna choose green if you use uh, some blue screen you're gonna choose blue and it will remove the green color so basically that's it guys that's it that is um, the chroma keying or green screen or blue screening tutorial using only plugins from After Effects itself all right it's, it's practically easy and hope you're gonna find it useful. Alright, so now that you understand it, you can create your own Guillaume song with that cute background. <laughs> Look at it out. It was just for fun.
not for public. Uh oh, retard alert! Anyway, I hope you find this tutorial useful for you, and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Haha! <laughs> Thank you. Ciao. Now you know how hard it is making money!